Hello people, in this video we want to look at Roma now ski stains. See the spelling Roma now ski stains. So it's just one word but we have split it, okay? So we want to look at Roma now ski stains. So examples of Romanowski stains are all of these. So all of these come under Romanowski stains only. So if somebody tells you what is May Grundwald Jimsa stain, Jimsa stain is also Romanowski stain. Jenner stain is also Romanowski stain. Wright's strain is also Romanowski stain. Lishman stain is also Romanowski stain. And Fields stain is also Romanowski stain. So did you understand this much? Jimsa stain, right stain, Lishman stain, then uh, Jenner stain, Field stain. All these Ramo, uh, Roma, Romanowski stains. Let's say Romanowski stains. Amongst these, actually, the ones that we have used, actually used. See, Lishman stain, you remember for DLC you have used. For differential leukocyte count, remember? In physiology lab, for differential leukocyte count, putting these hundred... Uh, squares and counting the number of neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, for that Lishman stain we have used. Okay. Then for, uh, we have studied this right Jimsa stain, you know where in herpes simplex lab diagnosis, Zank preparation, you remember Zank preparation? For Zank preparation we have, uh, we were taught that we should use this um, right and Jimsa stain, though in the lab uh, I have not done it. But yes, Zank preparation for herpes simplex and varicella zoster. See this one, Zank preparation. This is the multinuclear joint cell. The nucleus has some uh, intranuclear inclusion bodies called cowdry type A inclusion bodies. They are called as Lipschultz body or something. So we have seen these uh, stains being used, right? So all these are Rem Roma Nowski stains, okay? Now, what exactly are these Roma Nowski stains? They are a combination of acidic and basic dyes, right? They are a combination of acidic and basic dyes. This you should remember. Like when you get Lishman stain, right, in the lab, it will have both the components, acidic and basic, both will be there inside it, right? So you should understand this. I am giving you Lishman stain. What is it? It is a Roma Nowski stain. Inside it, there will be both acidic and basic components. Okay. Now, Roma now ski stains are insoluble in water, but they are soluble in methyl alcohol. Okay, they are insoluble in water. So, they are soluble in methyl alcohol. They are insoluble in water, guys. Pay attention. So, why, you know, that's why they use methyl alcohol as a fixative. That is why methyl alcohol is used as a fixative for these slides. Go back here and see what the procedure was that we have done. We didn't add any methyl alcohol, etc. But the smear, right? They fix it with methyl alcohol. Though we have not fixed it in our lab. Okay. Methyl alcohol is a fixative. is a solvent for the stain and also a fixative. Now, Romanowski stain. <clears throat> this uh, basic or cationic dye. You look at this basic blue. Basic or cationic dye, it is positively charged. Okay, this is positively charged. The basic or cationic dye is positively charged. So, there are two components, you know, no? acidic component and basic component. First, we are looking at the basic component here. So, the basic or cationic is positively charged. It binds to anionic sites and imparts blue-gray color to nucleic acids, nucleoproteins. So, imparts blue-gray color to the nucleus, everything. Right? So, Examples for the, these dyes are methylene blue and azure B. So, which are the examples? Methylene blue and azure B. Okay, methylene blue and azure B are basic cationic dyes that have affinity for acidic components in the cell. So, nucleic acid is acidic, remember. And uh, they impart purple color. Sometimes they are saying blue, sometimes they are saying purple. Just remember. Okay. They impart purple color to the nuclear chromatin, dark blue violet color to basophilic granules and deep blue color to the cytoplasm of the lymphocytes. The cytoplasm of the lymphocytes also become deep blue color. Oh, nice. Now let's move on. This was about the basic dye. Now we are moving on to the acidic dye. Are you sleeping or are you awake? 
we have finished the basic part that is the positively charged part which will go and uh, stain the acidic that is the negative that is the negative part that is the nucleus nucleic acid etc now we are moving on to the acidic or anionic dye this is acidic or anionic dye it is negatively charged so it will go and bind to positive stuff right so it will go and bind to cationic sites and it will impart which color orange red color to hemoglobin it will impart orange red color eosinophil granules okay and eosinophil granules so eosinophils you know they have granules right that will be orange red you remember in our peripheral smear we'll show you that uh, also hold on now example is eosin y here it is eosin y there it was what methylene blue azure b methylene blue azure b here it is eosin y eosin is an acidic eosin is an acidic dye remember it has affinity for basic components like hemoglobin granules in eosinophils neutrophils granules are slightly basic hence they are not uh, they are going to be stained as pink or lilac okay this already you know if you have done the dlc staining in the lab you already know so now coming to lichman stain which we have actually used in our lab for dlc it consists what methylene blue and eosin there's no azure b here correct azure b is not there right azure b we are not using methylene blue and eosin y right this is what is being used they are dissolved in what absolute alcohol uh, methyl alcohol why because methyl alcohol is a solvent for this um, dye okay Ro romanowski dye now a wilf stained smear shows what and all features look at all this this is a peripheral smear stained with lichman stain so the red cells that is the rbc's will have pink red to deep pink why because of hemoglobin okay polychromatic cells reticulocytes reticulocytes will be gray blue wow that we leave now for neutrophils neutrophils basically the pink pale pink cytoplasm and purple granules are you able to see purple granules here right purple granules coming to eosinophils orange red granules pale pink cytoplasm again basophils blue cytoplasm dark blue violet granules you can see dark blue violet granules monocytes we didn't draw here small lymphocyte we have drawn dark blue cytoplasm the cytoplasm itself is dark blue in, in lymphocyte the staining platelets will be purple we have to draw few platelets wait okay we have drawn the platelets now nuclei of all cells will be purple violet and rbc's have no nucleus so no purple violet there so that's all we wanted to cover in roma now ski stains easy right these are all the examples write the examples write the whole uh, examples that we have used just for you to remember then uh, what exactly is romanowski stain combination of acidic and basic dye Uh, these stains are insoluble in water so you will use solvent as methyl alcohol which is also used as a fixative and the basic or the cationic dye example methylene blue azure b these are positively charged they impart blue gray color right or purple color the romanowski stain the acidic part the anionic dye is going to be negatively charged it is going to impart orange red color to the hemoglobin and to the eosinophil granules example for this dye is eosin y what is this y i never heard of y hold on then we saw the lichman stain then we saw what a smear should look like okay just go to the examples here and just write here for bone marrow aspirate they use uh, Ro romanowski stain okay that's all for now guys hope you enjoyed this video say bye bye